What's up guys? I have got an awesome tour for you today. It is a tour of a 54 foot fully carbon fiber performance cruising catamaran. It's new to the market and it's an absolutely beautiful boat for so many reasons. It's the Kinetic KC 54. Real quick, if you enjoy these videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It really means a lot to us and helps us grow the channel, so thank you in advance. And without further ado, let's get to the tour. Looking at the aft end of this boat, this is something that I've never seen in a cat like this before. And it's a swim platform that folds down when you're at the dock or at anchor. That's the entire beam of the boat. It's absolutely awesome. You also have live wells in each sugar scoop for fishing, which again, I've never seen in a cat like this before. You've got your starboard helm station, outboard helm station right here. That's actually one of three helm stations on this boat. We've got our beautiful cockpit right here. Absolutely amazing. Very roomy. And it just looks nice and clean. Very well designed. And there's your step through transom out to that swim platform. It's absolutely just game changing. Go into the port side. You've got your port side helm station right here. This is helm station two of three. And going forward. This boat is very, very pretty and just absolutely clean. I mean there's no lines running on the deck here. You've got nice wide side decks. Very safe, very clean. I just love the styling of this boat. And then right here you're looking at the forward cockpit and we're gonna get to that pretty soon but just an awesome feature. Going forward some more. Looking aft. Just a very, very good looking boat. And looking up the rig. Going into the port side, bow locker, ample amounts of storage for your sails, fenders, etc. This way you can leave the decks clean when you're underway. Going over to the starboard side, bow locker. It's gonna be the same thing, just mirrored. And as you can see, there's lots of space in these bow lockers. Looking aft, again, we've got that forward cockpit and there's a sun cover for it as well that you can use when you're at anchor or at the dock. Looking at the furling boom, and the mast, again, everything is carbon. And then the forward cockpit. Everything you need to control the sails on this boat is right here in this awesome spot. Very, very safe. Little flip down steps to go up to the coach roof. Go and aft. And again, nice and clean, easy to go forward and aft on this boat nice and safe. Let's go back into the cockpit. Lots of seating. And looking forward into the main salon and it is just 
absolutely, absolutely beautiful. I personally just love the styling, the nice, clean, sleek styling throughout. You can really tell that the quality of this boat is just outstanding just by looking at just the way everything's built, the way everything's finished. They really take their time and have master craftsmen building these boats. Just so clean. Really, really nice galley. We've got an electric range and cooktop right there. Cold storage in the island. Forward of the galley, we have the forward facing nav station. So much light comes through these massive windows. Just absolutely beautiful styling, beautiful design. And then my favorite part of the boat, the forward helm station that's in the forward section of the salon. Super protected. I think that this is the perfect spot for a helm station. You got a forward cockpit, forward helm station. Combine that with a forward facing nav station and this is just absolutely number one in design in my book. Stepping into the forward cockpit. This is where you're going to control your sails. You can pretty much do everything from right here, which is, again, awesome. Looking back at the salon, again, just ample seating for lots of people. There's those big windows again. Let's go down into the port side owner's hall. Looking forward. Going forward, you've got the owner's cabin, which has a massive bridge deck berth with tons of storage all around. Beautiful styling carried throughout the boat. There's a forward shower and sink up here. The head is actually going to be aft of the cabin. It's going to be a split kind of design. going aft. Some more storage behind the door. Again, just the quality of the finish work, the joinery is just phenomenal. And it's a lightweight design. So the fact that it feels quality, but is also light is, is phenomenal. And then here is the actual head with another sink. Back here and look at that. The head is carbon fiber. Awesome. Going forward. So this is one of my favorite parts of this boat. This back here, this aft cabin it's kind of a multi-purpose room. Really, I think it's more like an office slash lounge area. I love it. 
You got lots of storage. This could also be a guest room. Love it. Especially for someone that works from home, this is a great design. I just want to show you guys the, the headroom here. Like there's at least two feet above my head. It's kind of crazy. Makes the boat feel huge inside. Heading into the starboard side hull. Looking aft. We've got a full head right here with a separate shower. Again, carbon fiber. And it's also a head that you can get to from the cabin. The sinks are carbon fiber as well. I mean, everything on this boat is carbon fiber, but you can see the carbon fiber on the sinks and the heads. Going aft, we've got our aft cabin and a double berth back here. Storage. Again, just expert quality joinery. I just want to mention all these surfaces, all of these white surfaces in here are fared and painted and they just look phenomenal. There are no imperfections anywhere in the fairing and the paint job. Such high quality and such care has been put into this boat. We've got another massive double island berth, bridge deck berth right here in the forward cabin and then another head. This one, no shower, but it does come with the carbon fiber toilet and sink. I love it. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Nicely finished drawers. Just admiring the quality of the joinery. Up here in the forward cockpit, you've got four compartments, four bridge deck compartments that open towards the cockpit. Tons of storage here for whatever you want to put in there. We're now taking a look at the port side engine compartment slash technical compartment. Engine's going to be below those steps there. And there is your engine. This does open up better for service and you can access the engine from under the berths as well. All right, guys, so for the final thoughts on this yacht, I just want to say it is very, very close to being a perfect yacht, at least in my book. The main things I loved were the layout and the design, obviously that forward cockpit, but also those two helm stations in the outboard sections of the boat. That is going to help with docking and maneuvering, and it's just going to be fun to sail from those outboard positions, but you've also got that protected helm station in the main salon where you know you can sail the boat in any weather and be completely comfortable. You've also got the forward cockpit, forward of that helm station, and controlling the boat basically happens all from that location right there. It's extremely safe, it's a really good design, and this boat can be shorthanded very easily because of it. To top that all off, you have a true forward-facing nav station directly to starboard of the helm station. It is, at least in my opinion, the perfect setup for an offshore cruising catamaran. So obviously those things I just talked about are my absolute favorite parts of the boat, but keeping those in mind, this boat also 
pretty much has it all. I mean, it's a massive boat with a lot of living space. You've got a huge galley and a huge main salon and a huge cockpit behind all that. There's just so much room to live aboard and lounge around. It's a very, very comfortable boat. Also, the accommodations in the owner's hall are pretty much perfect. That aft cabin that's essentially kind of a lounge, convertible style cabin that is basically the office, that is absolutely perfect for someone that is living aboard and working aboard. The other hall being two cabins and two heads, that's perfect for guests or for kids or for both guests and kids. Now, I also really love that the transom of this catamaran is something that you really don't see on any other catamarans. I mean, you've got a walk-through transom pretty much and you can fold down the swim platform so that, so that it goes the entire beam of the boat. I mean, that is just absolutely amazing when you're at anchor or at the dock. I mean, this boat is basically the perfect platform for on the water fun. I also want to state that the quality of this yacht in comparison to other yachts of this caliber, you know, carbon fiber performance cruising catamarans, is just better. I was really amazed at the fit and finish on this yacht. Everything just felt like it was solid, quality, well-made, and was put together extremely well by talented craftsmen. I also wanted to mention that most of the interior of this boat is fared and painted, and I really like that as opposed to liners and vinyls and different things to cover up, you know, portions of bare fiberglass. They didn't cut any corners on this boat. They fared and painted all of that stuff, so it just makes it really sleek looking, really good looking, and easy to clean. This is not something that comes across necessarily in video footage, but I've been aboard boats that had fared and painted interiors like this, and this is the best one that I've ever seen done. There are zero imperfections anywhere. So I did actually get a chance to see how this boat is out on the water, but unfortunately it was really light wind and we didn't really get a good opportunity to really put the sailing performance to the test. Hopefully we can do that in a future video, so let me know if you guys would be interested in a video like that. I'm definitely really curious to see how this boat performs. It's a performance cruiser, it's got a little more focus on cruising over performance, but I'm fairly certain that it's going to perform really, really well, especially in comparison to the rest of the market out there. Anyway, I know I'm giving this boat glowing reviews and that's simply because I, I loved it, but it is definitely an expensive boat. It's in a caliber of its own. There's not many boats out there like this. So just because I can't sit here and say completely all good things, the one small criticism I have on this boat is the coach roof is extremely high. I mean, that could be dropped easily like a foot that would reduce a lot of the windage of the boat and you'd still have a crazy amount of headroom. I mean, there is a ridiculous amount of headroom in this boat, but that's just me. That's the only thing that I would change. Just reduce that windage a little bit. But other than that, I mean, this boat is pretty much perfect. Anyway, guys, if you want any more information on the Kinetic KC-54 or its bigger sister, the KC-62, I'm gonna put that information as links in the description below, as well as, you know, like the starting price of this boat. And I'm gonna warn you, it's up there. I also wanna thank Just Catamarans as well for letting me aboard this boat. If you guys are seriously considering potentially purchasing one of these vessels, i definitely reach out to them. And I'm gonna put their link in the description below as well. Anyway guys, that's it. If you enjoyed this one, please leave a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell if you wanna know each and every time we drop a video. See you guys. I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my